Welcome to labmist.com in our lab video series on Cisco SD-WAN. This is Metha, your instructor for this video series. For a complete list of our SD-WAN videos, you can visit our website under the routing switching section. There you can also sign up for our newsletters to receive the latest video updates. I first would like to welcome you guys to our yet another video series. I know we have a lot of our audience who have been following our lab video series, so if that's you, thank you very much and welcome back. But if this happens to be your first video series with us, welcome to Lab Minutes and hopefully you have time to check out our other videos on our website. In our last few video series, we looked at Cisco Software Defined Network Technologies. We began our journey in the data center, which was the Cisco ACI. And we had two video series on that, which was the basic and the advanced. In the last video series, we looked at the Cisco latest SDN technology in the campus access, which was the software defined access with the DNA center. Now in this video series, we'll still continue our theme of the SDN. And this time it's going to be on the software defined wide area network or SD-WAN. SD-WAN has actually been around a few years now. And there are many products out there that are available. And Cisco, who is, as you know, a big player in the space, certainly did not miss out on this technology. So this video series will be about Cisco latest SD-WAN technology. And we will start in this video with some introduction and fundamental knowledge of the Cisco SD-WAN. And we will dive into our lab configuration for the remaining part of this video series. The goal of this video is to prep you with the basic knowledge in case you are new to the topic, but hopefully you already have some basic routing switching background and maybe even some experience with the traditional WAN technology so you can appreciate what you are about to learn. With that said, let's get started. Now just to give you some background on Cisco SD-WAN, prior to the VIPTeller acquisition, Cisco SD-WAN at the time referred to the Intelligent WAN or iWAN, which was developed by Cisco. iWAN was the combination of Cisco best-in-class technologies, including DMVPN, Performance Routing, or PFR, WAN Acceleration, or WAS, and Ekamai Connect. One of the problem iWAN has was the lag of a true unified controller. The only controller concept iWAN had was the master controller as part of the PFR configuration that pushes out routing policies. While the majority of the configuration, the routers like DMVPN and tunnel interface and things like that still need to be done manually. Now to address the configuration issue, Cisco came out with the iWAN app on the APIC EM server to help automate configuration, but even so, that didn't seem to work really well and certainly did not help accelerate the adoption rate of iWAN. The other problem with the iWAN was everything was on-prem without any cloud-based solution, which was what other vendors were already moving towards. In 2017, Cisco acquired a company called Viptela, which at the time was considered a competitor to Cisco in the SD-WAN space. Viptela was built on a controller-based architecture, as we will discuss in this video, controllers are the integral part of the entire solution, and the fact that these controllers can either be on-prem or in the cloud gives you even more flexibility. While there are probably still a lot of iWAN implementations at the time of this recording, which is in 2018, Cisco encouraged any new SD-WAN implementation to use Viptela, and that might be something you guys already know and why you're watching this video series right now. So just to be absolutely clear before we proceed further in this video series, this video series does not cover Cisco iWAN, but we will cover the Cisco Viptela SD-WAN. So if you hear me refer to Cisco SD-WAN, that means I'm talking about the Viptela SD-WAN. So enough with the background, we are now going to start by looking at the different components and terminology in Cisco SD-WAN solution. First, we mentioned that Cisco SD-WAN operate on controller-based architecture, so controllers are the key components in the solution. There are three types of controllers in Cisco SD-WAN solution, as you can see in this diagram right here. You got vManage, vBond, and vSmart, and these terms are inherited from Viptela. 